I want to talk about your offensive line. I mean, just I thought they they battled, no sacks. I thought just to me, I thought it was one of their most complete performances in the in the year in one game that you've been here. Very impressive, especially when I went back and rewatched the game. Did you share that sentiment, or if not, yeah. or did? Can you expand on your feelings there, please? Yeah, I thought they uh, they passed protected very well, Hunter, like you said. Um, no sacks in the game, obviously, is always a goal heading into it. Um, but that takes, you know, everyone. Jimmy did a great job of getting the ball out on time and stepping up in the pocket when he had to. I'm sure you guys, you know, you saw some of those plays in the game and early in the game when he scrambled and pushed up and the pocket was clean. And um, he had those alleys to run in and credit to all those guys for keeping it firm and cleaning out the pocket when they could and trying to play physical um, against a good front in, in Denver. So uh, very, very pleased with the way they passed protected. Obviously, every week in the NFL, um, that presents a challenge in terms of defensive front structure and blocking different things. So Buffalo plays a different structure in terms of front um, than Denver did. So we're up for a different uh, different task this week, but we're looking forward to it. Coach, um, I know Hunter talked a lot in the offseason about being excited and, and kind of, um, you know, being fired up for this season after being yeah. disappointed last season. I guess what does he have to do to get more involved and, and what would you like to see, I guess, more from him? You know, I mean, Hunter definitely has been involved um, throughout the throughout the summer and um, moving forward. I mean, he was a big part of the game plan in Denver, always is a big part of the game plan. Um, it was a kind of a weird game, you know, how it went um, in terms of the amount of plays and the amount of series we got. Um, ran some really good routes on third down. Um, you know, was open on the last play of the game when Jimmy scrambled and stuff like that. So, you know, some days, obviously, production in terms of, you know, catches and targets is – something I know you guys look at a lot in terms of, you know, that, that type of thing. But um, I thought Hunter did a good job of doing his job and being ready to go. And just kind of one of those weird games. And we had, we had six possessions and one of those was kneeled down at the end of the half. So it was a, it was a weird game where, you know, we used a little bit more 21 and 12 personnel um, throughout the first half and kind of just felt like we wanted to, you know, keep drives going and we had them going, but, you know, in terms of Hunter, I mean, he's done a great job in terms of doing his job of practice. And, you know, we, we, um, we look forward to kind of getting them integrated here as we move forward. Nick, there's a stat that doesn't show on the stat sheet, and that was Jimmy taking what the defense gave him and making a quick read. I, I, I'm i just curious, did you see it that way? I thought he did a very good job of just taking, taking what they gave him and doing a quick read, not trying to do too much other than the one end zone trying to force a ball. But I thought that was per, that was impressive. Did you see that? Yeah, I think anytime you um, – your last question, I think this one goes hand-in-hand hand, um, in terms of sacks and production, in terms of, you know, defensive pressures. And there weren't a lot of them, but, you know, the offensive line did a good job of staying inside out, and he did a good job of staying with his reading and getting the ball out. And that that's part of it. And, you know, anytime your quarterback completes, you know, above 75% of his passes or above 70% of his passes, you're, you're pleased with how he, you know, operates the offense. And, uh, you know, we obviously saw him do that this past Sunday. And that'll be a goal for him moving forward every week. But, you know, I think, like I said, the, your first two questions go hand in hand. They're really, they're really the quarterback doing his job and getting the ball out and the offensive line doing their job of staying inside out, ready to go. Which uh, I have a couple more. One, one offensive line, we talked about the, the pass protection. Um, in the run game, was it a matter of them just stacking the box or I guess what do you guys have to do better? Um, yeah, I think, I think cross the board, um, tight end, offensive line, you know, uh, backs, you know, whether it's the run read, double team, and we just got to make sure that um, all 11 players are connected. We talk about that a lot, right? Get it a hand to hand in the running game. All 11 players are connected, you know? So if there's one instance where one player either falls off on a double team or the back reads the play wrong or the receiver doesn't block the force player, um, you can have a you can have a run that doesn't go for a lot of yards. And I think that's a goal for us moving forward this week is just saying, hey, let's get all players, 11 players connected doing their job because we want to make sure that – because that's really what makes a good run play go. And that's what we got to try and do do a better job consistently. I mean, you I think you saw them play, try and play physical. You saw them double team really well. And we just got to sustain our job better longer. And I think they're all aware of that, and we'll try and get that done this week in practice. Um, obviously, the, the there was an unfortunate uh, play with uh, Jacoby late, but he had such a good game. What does it do to have – uh, a secondary receiver, a second receiver kind of establish himself when you have a star like uh, Devontae on the other side? Yeah, you know, I'm, they do a lot of things right, both of those guys. Yeah, um, I think the whole receiver room does. Um, you know, I've known Jacoby for a while. 
Um, I coached him, obviously, in New England um, in my time there. Um, so I kind of knew the kid he was first, had the worker he was, and, you know, the the player he is on Sunday. Um, so nothing, I, nothing Jacoby did on Sunday surprised me, uh, surprised our team or surprised our unit. Um, it's obviously nice to have a productive player, but it's obviously nice to have a dependable player. And that's how I see Jacob Myers is, you know, a very dependable guy who does his job, doesn't ask many questions and just uh, goes about his job and makes sure he tries and get better every day. Um, I'm extremely proud of the way he's handled um, his career and extremely looking forward to what's what's ahead of him. We'll do last question. Oh, sorry, bro. Hey, uh, Coach Mick, you were just talking about uh... – Still trying to get the the run established a little bit more. Uh, Sunday we saw Zamir White get a carry uh, off of a sweep. Just kind of, would you say everything that he's gone through in training camp with getting those reps? Do you think that that kid, you know, proceeding to him getting even more reps throughout the season despite Josh Jacobs being back? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I, you know, um, again, it was one of those weird games, Levi. It was kind of, you know, the series kind of went a certain way, and third down, Amir played a little bit, and. You know, then we got we had that long drive, and that's why you saw Zamir get in the game. So um, if you start playing more drives and more series and more plays in a game, um, you're going to see a lot more substitutions and a lot more guys get coming in now and getting involved. So Zamir was ready to go. He aired, um, has been all summer, has been all uh, all season, and will continue to do so. So looking forward to what Zamir can bring for us. One more, Mick. Adam has one more. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, can you still – Talk about the the fact that you guys were able to get the ball and run the clock uh, the way that you were to close out a game like that to, um, you know, to have a position where you just have to run it down. You have to make plays, get first downs, keep the chains moving and execute the way that you did. Um, I guess how how proud of you were of that and uh, um, how important is that for a team to be able to do that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, just overall our execution in the fourth quarter, you know, getting the ball down six points and, you know, um, going down there and score a touchdown in about two minutes and then getting the ball back. Our defense, credit to our defense, because, you know, we get the lead for the defense and then they did get a big, big stop late in the game and give us the ball back with about five minutes left. And it's our time to try and go out there. And regardless of how we run the ball during the game or what it is, you know, um, we got to go out there and try and execute some runs and get eat some clock and get, get first down really at the end of the day. Um, so for us to run for a first down early and then get a third down conversion, with Jacoby and Jimmy, um, and then obviously get the third down conversion with Jimmy at the end of the game. I mean, you know, as a coach, you're you know, extremely pleased with your guys for battling, being mainly tough, and having that stamina to execute their job in the fourth quarter because, you know, that's really at the end of the day what separates wins and losses in this league. They're, every game is going to be close. You know, I know there were a couple games around the league that this week that um, were kind of lopsided in terms of score, but, you know, they, you know, it's, you know, my man on the red zone network doesn't call the witching hour for nothing. I mean, it's it's gonna be come down it's gonna come down to the bitter end. And if you can execute your job in situation football, we put a stress and a big uh a big um a big emphasis on that every week. And for them to go execute that very, very, very fun to see as a coach. All right. Thanks, Mick. Thanks. All right, everybody. guys. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.